Hi, this is Scott from Metro PC Networks. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the GoodSync software, how to configure the GoodSync software for your data backup system. So we want to, of course, load the GoodSync application. And if we just click down here, because remember I said I was going to install it on my Quick Launch toolbar, it's right here. If you did not opt for that, if you want to go the traditional way, you can come over here to Start, and then go to Programs, and you'll see GoodSync right here. Click on GoodSync, and our application loads. If this is the first time using the application, you'll get this screen if you have no jobs configured already in GoodSync. So we want to enter a job name, and we're just going to call this Scott's Downloads, because we'll, we'll make a small job here, Scott's Downloads. And we don't want to synchronize, we want to back them up. When you synchronize, it does exactly what it says here. It's going to make both sides look exactly the same. For a backup, that's more of a one-way job. So we'll just click on the Backup Radio button and then click OK. And now the Good Sync application loads. And you can see right here in this tab, Scott's Downloads is the name of the job, and that's the name of the tab. What's on the left-hand side will be backed up to the right-hand side drive. If we click on the Browse button here, we will see we get a selection of drives that we want to back up. The drive that I want to back up from is called my Data Drive on this particular PC. Some of you may only have a primary drive, which would be your C drive, and then the backup drive that you're using. In my case, you can see that I labeled my backup drive Backup 2. I also have, I have dual backup drives right now, though I only have one of them attached to my PC. What I will do is I will come in here to Data Drive, and then I just want to back up a couple files just to show you uh, how this system works. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up the Outlook Archive folder. So this won't take long at all to back up. So we'll click on Outlook Archive, and that's all we need to do on the site. If we wanted to add encryption, let's say we were um, doing maybe an FTP across a, a, a network or something like that, or maybe we just wanted to encrypt the data because it was going on to an external hard drive that, of course, could get stolen, then we would do an encryption algorithm that we wanted to use. Okay. We are not going to do that in my case, though. We're just going to leave it like it is, and then we're going to click on OK. Now we need to go to the other side and browse to the place where we want to back this uh, folder up to. So we're going to click on Browse again, and we want to back this up to where else but our backup drive, or external backup drive, if you will. And as you can see, there are several applications on here already. I believe actually I may have even an Outlook folder on here already, and I do. So I'm going to take the Outlook Archive here, and I'm going to back it up to this location here called Outlook Archive. That's all I have to do, and click on OK. Now, since this is a removable external hard drive, it's going to tell me that it wants to uh, reference this differently, basically, is what it's telling me. So that uh, since the drive could change letters, because if you unplug an external hard drive and then plug it back in, or if you plug it into a different USB port, it's possible it could get signed to different drive letters. So for a point of reference, it's going to uh, do something a little bit differently here. And, and that's OK. So we're going to click on OK. Now we have our backup job set up. And now we want to analyze, or we want the program, that is, to analyze the uh, disks. We want them to basically do a compare of both locations. It's going to compare what's on this location to what's on the external hard drive. So we're going to click on Analyze. And we can see that that went fairly quick. And we can see that they're both already uh, in sync, because that's what the status says. Okay, So this job is already set up to go. I could push the Sync button here. And we can see that not much is going to happen. So that is how we set up a basic job on our system. Now, if you want to create multiple jobs, so let's say that was just one folder that I wanted to back up, okay? then all I would have to do is I'd repeat the process. right? I would come up here to Job, and I would do New. The new job is going to be Scott's Software. And then I can do a backup and click OK. Okay, now I need to point to software on the PC. 
The way I do that is I come in here, I know it's on my D drive, come down here, I know it's also under this file folder, then I'll come down to software, I'll click on software, and I'll be done with this side, then I'll come over here, where do I want to point that to? Well, I want to point it to my backup drive, and then I want to come down, and I'm just going to create a folder out here, since you can see there isn't one already out here called software. Okay, so I come down here and I click on make new folder. We're going to call it software. Click on OK and we're done with that folder. So now that folder is right there. I'll click on OK here. It's going to tell me again that it's referencing this backup drive. Okay, so now that's done. Now I want to click on analyze again. And this is this, there should be a lot of a, a lot of exchange of traffic here for this one. Click on analyze and we can see it go through. And it's going to display some data out here. Now we can see that since there was nothing on this drive already under a software folder, it's going to copy, as you can see here, the arrows referencing right or from left to right, I should say. It's going to copy everything over onto this external hard drive that's in the software folder. And as you can see, it's telling us up here as well that we have 154 gig free. It's in a FAT32 format. Um, total is 298 gig. Required is 11.9 gig. So we have more than enough space on this drive to back up this folder. As you can see over here, um, it's telling us also how many gig are free and what the total is and the required, uh, so on and so forth. Also on this, it tells us the types of files that are on here as far as all. There's 7,312 files uh, in this software folder, if you will. And the, the new files, the left files, the files on the left versus the files, the, the new files. So what we're going to do now to get this job kicked off is we're going to click on the sync button. And it will go through and it's going to copy all these files over. So we will... Uh, check back on this here momentarily after it is done synchronizing these files. While we are watching this uh, synchronization to place a couple things to point out to you, you can see uh, in real time here that the files are synchronizing. And also it's going to tell you down here on the right hand side uh, the amount of time remaining, uh, the speed at which these files are being transferred, and then the uh, elapsed time, right? A minute 16 has elapsed, and there's 10 minutes 53 seconds left. It also gives you this little bar graph as a uh, chart on what's going on. Then you have this little log window down here to tell you what is uh, actually taking place as well. So these files are still synchronizing, as you can see right here. So we will check back again in just a moment when our file synchronization, or I should say our file backup of the software folder is done. All right, so our backup finished, and as we can see, the total runtime on that backup job was 18 minutes and 49 seconds. So it does take a little bit longer. As you recall, I think that uh, uh, clock at first said it was around 12 minutes, but that uh, dynamically changes as things go on. So what else we see up here is uh, all the files that were backed up. If there were any errors, there would be an error tab up here, and we could take a look at that. Let's click on the other tab right here, and we can see uh, all the other uh, types of uh, information that we can get off of our good sync application as far as the uh, sync state, uh, not sync yet, um, the number of files live and dead, uh, and of course errors. Uh, and if there were errors, we'd want to look at those errors and see what they were. But as we can see, there is nothing on here uh, to be concerned with this time. We did get a good uh, backup of all the data on the uh, drive. So what we could do next is we could automate uh, these backup files so as more and more uh, applications get downloaded to our PC or as more and more uh, files that we uh, load onto our PC uh, that we want to back up, we can automate this system so that we can just automatically have GoodSync manage that backup for us and we don't even have to think about it. And we'll show you how to do that in the next video. For MetroPC Networks, this is Scott Dill. Thank you.